Have you ever played a game that's so popular it's unplayable to the extent that you have to sit and wait six hours plus to get in because players are spending 24 hours a day playing because they're so addicted and don't want to wait to play. That has literally been the state of Wrath of the Lich King Classic, exploding in popularity and hype over the last few weeks. How does a very old grandpa version of World of Warcraft that came out over 12 years ago in 2008 gain such a massive amount of demand? And the real question is, what does that say about the retail version because it doesn't receive that type of treatment. Let's dive in and see the reasons why this MMO has received so much attention and become so popular. If you're doing enjoy the video, consider subscribing and liking for good luck. Thank you, and let's get into it. When you think of World of Warcraft and the nostalgic good times that put a smile on your face, what expansion comes to your mind? It's going to be different for everyone, but I assume for a good majority of players, it will be Wrath of the Lich King. Considering it was the most popular version of WoW ever released, with over 12 million subscribers paying a $15 monthly sub, which means Blizzard was making over $180 million per month just from WoW. They were balling out. Ever since then, it's been on a slow decline to the current product we have now, Shadowlands. I think that has caused a growing desire in the player base for something good again, and Wrath is that for a lot of people. So many players want to relive that moment, relive that experience when they truly enjoyed the game. Questing in Grizzly Hills, listening to the amazing music, a lot of players who also missed out I think want to experience World of Warcraft in its best state ever and see why so many people love this iconic expansion. Even the villain in Wrath of the Lich King, the Lich King aka Arthas is so deeply rooted in the story. From the early days back in the Warcraft series to even now in 2022 where the Lich King is still a revelant character. I would predict that someone made a poll on who is the best WoW villain, the Lich King would be number one. Convenience is another huge factor as to why Wrath Classic has been so popular. It's more like modern day WoW, but it still keeps many of the popular classic features like the old town system, which gave you the freedom to create these unique builds that had a lot of flexibility. As well, the old world remained relatively the same that gave that classic feeling. Many modern day changes that players considered bad happened in future expansions as the game fundamentally changed from what it was originally. But many tedious classic elements are also removed in Wrath of Lich King, like the long leveling process which involved hundreds of hours of a time sink. This created a massive barrier of entry for people who wanted to play the game but didn't have the time as they were most likely adults with responsibilities who couldn't spend 12 hours a day playing the game as they have other things to do. Wrath is way more endgame focused while still having a good RPG level in process that doesn't take hundreds of hours to complete. It's a balanced game having good elements from both retail and classic WoW, allowing it to appeal to such a wider audience, hence this rapid popularity game seemingly out of nowhere. As I truly feel, any type of WoW player can play Wrath Classic and have an enjoyable experience. There's so many things to do within the game. PvE, which involves dungeons and raids, hours of content to gain gear for your character. PvP, if you enjoy the more player versus player aspect, which has battlegrounds, arenas, and a whole zone, winter grass, dedicated to world PvP. There will be easily over a year's worth of content to get into and enjoy. All of this sounds really good and exciting to experience. Unfortunately, probably within a month or two after release, Dragonflight the new WoW expansion will completely ruin it in my opinion. The reason I'm stating this is in the past, the way Blizzard has handled balancing two games is one releases an update and when it gets stale, the other game releases an update and this cycle continues destroying the momentum of a game, especially one with no future. Dragonflight is coming out around November slash December. I assume most players will migrate to that game considering it's new and the future of WoW. Versus Classic, even though it's so popular right now, it's a completed game with a set lifespan. There's no future with that game. Most players come into play either want to relive the experience because of nostalgia or have never gotten to play and want to see what's so good about it. Which is why Blizzard treats it like a quick cash job. You can tell that's their mentality. Hence why there's 6 plus hour queues and it's not an issue being fixed properly. It's pretty much filler content for their bread and butter Dragonflight. Which business wise I completely understand why they're doing this. Why would Blizzard invest time into Wrath Classic, a game that's going to be gone in the next year? But the issue with doing that is that it sacrifices the player's experience, which I think should be the priority of any gaming company, in my opinion. This is literally what happened to Classic WoW. It was tremendously popular, but with it being a completed game and having no future, it ends up dying. They attempted at doing a season of mastery, but it failed because 
because it was a lazy attempt at re-releasing classic with slight differences i do think blizzard really dropped the ball if not releasing some type of classic plus and having it be in its own game like a parallel universe to retail wow it's unfortunate but if you do plan on playing raft classic just enjoy the experience and have some fun it will be extremely popular for the first month or two and from there it's going to be up in the air what happens but i predict it will be overshadowed by dragonfly if you guys enjoy the video and want to see future mmo content consider subscribing and liking and comment down below if you're going to be playing raft classic when it comes out thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next video peace